Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. On today's Sunday gear review, we're starting here, we'll end up at the range. But today I wanna to talk to you, I had a couple people ask me about how I mount an optic to my shotgun. And today we're gonna to talk about the Aridus Industries co-witness ready optic mount, the Crom. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So Neil, your defensive shotgun, not very different than this one at all. Not a whole lot different. It's way cooler, but it's not a whole lot different. <laughs> no, 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 I'd say this one's cooler. Yours looks nicer with yep. the paint job that GT put on it. But uh, for those of you who have not seen other videos on this, this is my Beretta 1301. Started life as a 1301 Tactical, went to Langdon Technologies and got the, the LTT Elite package on this, which basically is dumping the Aridus and the Magpul catalog on it. Yep. Uh, it then went to Van Comp and had a uh, the barrel uh, made by Van Comp. So, it's been custom reamed for that. And then I put this Briley handguard. We did a video review of that. And we've got some other stuff to talk about. But uh, in terms of sighting systems, man, this Aridus Chrome is really something else. And I really want you to see through it. I'm actually gonna do my very best to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like through it. And we'll do that out on the range. But the cool part of this is it's co-witness ready, right? So you've got here on this uh, 1301, you've got a, a front post pillar. That's kind of like a, um, an AR pillar on yep. the front post. Um, and, and so a lot of mounts for that, we'll put this way up out of there so you don't have any co-witness. But this guy here, the neat part is, is that what it does is you can see here, it's got multiple screws and you take the little rail piece off for Berettas. It's also available for Mossbergs and for Remingtons. And you take the, you know, there's like four screws in the little mount piece, you know, little little piece that they give to put stuff on. Take those out, take that thing off and the crumb mounts right to it. So it's like a five minute install. It's, it's literally a nothing. They make these for the RMR footprint. So that means you can put a Holosun 507 on here as well. And that's what you have on yep. your shotgun. Yep. Um, people ask me why I don't have a Holosun on this one when I do on my other ones. Well, you know, all my pistols and stuff. It's simple. I had an RMR laying around and I couldn't justify it's, just leaving yeah, it laying around it's and spending hard to more not money. Have it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's a couple of, of interesting pieces you can do with this too. So the Crom. Um, co-witnesses. So my dot is actually um, a co-witnessed with the iron sights. Some people love that. Some people don't. In fact, if I had to, to kind of my druthers, I'd actually kind of rather lower third co-witness it personally, but I, you know, I don't know how to get the spacers in there right. and all that stuff. Um, there's one other option with that too. Uh, you can order this when it comes standard, it comes standard with a peep sight on the rear. And instead, as I'm going to show you, uh, this guy has the Rob Hot Mod. And the Rob Hot Mod is basically they cut that peep sight in half and then you know reblued it uh, as a as a half. So it's it's a bowl that you put the apple in on the front sight. So if your optic goes down, um, then you know you just look through the the uh, peep sight and you've got that available to you. I think it's just an elegant, simple, great solution. It really, you know, the, the really cool thing about it is it's simple. That's the biggest word that you just said there. It, there's not a ton to it. Um, if something breaks down, it's got some redundancies there and it's simple, easy. Uh, and having run it through some classes uh, upwards of a thousand rounds in a weekend, pretty heavy duty too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the big thing. I, I would suggest this. I'm not, this isn't an install video. Uh, just trust me from experience that you want to use some Loctite on, yeah. on, on every, everything. A, a 12 gauge will beat everything up, yeah. right? So Including make sure you, that, if you're not careful, <laughs> so make sure that your Loctite is good. I have had this screw come loose. So we re Loctite it and it's good. Um, your rear peep or your rear, uh, hot. Uh, aperture, you can uh, drift. It does drift left and right. And so uh, you want to make sure that you get that nailed down nice and tight too. I've had that kind of wiggle loose just a little bit, but not the optic. The optic has been absolutely solid the whole time. I also will say, I think that um, one of the worries is whether 12 gauge recoil will beat the tar out of an optic. Mine sure hasn't. Um, and, and this RMR has run flawlessly kept zero. So can't argue with that. Um, I do want you to see it. We do want to go shoot it on the range a little bit, but I'm just going to say as far as an impression for me, when I, the thing that I absolutely adore is because the way that this shotgun stock is set up, it's an empty gun, um, is, is that it comes right up to me. And, and the nifty part here is 
and, and again, you're behind a camera. I'm not pointing a gun at you. It's okay, right? It's okay, internet. It's okay. Is, is that I can come right up and you can see that I've got you, I've got the dot right in mind here. And I don't have to worry about getting all of the front sight, rear sight thing. Dot in the window anywhere and I've got it. And I can look right through that to see there. So I think this scrum mount just, it makes me faster with the shotgun. I mean, dot is way faster with the shotgun than, than sights and irons. You know, we know that. Um, and uh, I think that if I, again, if I was doing it my way, you can put an aim, aim point T1 on these two. They have a footprint for the T1. Um, but my druthers is the, the nifty part, something like a, a Holosun 507 with a circle kind of tells yeah. you, hey, all your buckshot's going in here. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that is nice. Here's where it's going. Here's where know. it's going. Well, let's go shoot it. Yep. Okay, so we're over at C2 and we got a little bit better light. So you can see here how low that mount is. You can see that again, it just gives it a co-witness mount. So we'll see if we can get you to see that through the lens. And then uh, let's just take a few shots through it. And, and just again, it turns a, a, a shotgun into a dot gun, which is amazing. Awesome. Safety's on. Yeah, I got you. Backwards, because it's correct-handed. Backwards. Man, you just don't lose that dot at all with the push ball. That's amazing. I like that. For the record, Neil is letting the sling dangle because it's set up for me as a lefty. Correct. I love that. It's, it's right in line for me. Now I'm hunching down just a little bit because I think I, that's how I've shot a shotgun for 50 years. Uh, but I really like that dot. It's just up high enough that I can see it with the push pull. It goes nowhere. And I like that as he mounts the gun. So when you mount the gun, Neil, so, so you notice again, he comes up and the gun comes up to him. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to scrunch down on it. He's yep. not craning his neck over the top of it. It shoots on the exact same plane as the irons do. Exactly, it's and right there with us. Can't, can't argue with it. So where are you gonna get one of these? Um, you get it at, uh, if you just Google Aridus Industries, of course, I'm gonna tell you, go get it at Big Tech's. Uh, with the hot uh, mod on it, these are 140 bucks. You can get them for the Beretta, you can get them for the Mossberg, you can get them for the Remington. Uh, it'll fit on all the Remingtons. You know, 870 is what most people would put it on. Yep. Um, and I think it's a great mod. It's so much that uh, we're going pheasant hunting this fall and I'm, I'm thinking I might put one on my Wingmaster. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, it'll be fun, <laughs> we'll see. Hope it helps you everybody.